So you're at the ASU Aviation Program. Uh, when you get started, you're going to be in an airplane, a real airplane, flying all the time until you get a private pilot license. And that's when you start to go into your instrument license. And from there, uh, they allow you to use uh, simulators to simulate the environment you'll be around and instrument conditions, which means clouds, fog, anything that doesn't give you a visual reference to the ground. So my first solo flight, it's an experience you'll never forget. Every pilot remembers his first solo experience. Um, my instructor was with me for the first half of the flight, just flying around the pattern, landings, takeoffs. I uh, just doing that multiple times just to see if I was having a good day flying. And he just told me, okay, let's, par let's go park at the flight training center. So we did. He gets out, tells me to stay in, and he said, off you go. So I'm on my own in the airport. And the first takeoff, I mean, you have less weight in it, so the plane just soars in the sky like, no, I was not ready for it. And I had to push back on a yoke a little bit because I got a little, freak I freaked out a little bit. But my first solo was definitely a good experience. Just being in the air yourself, you worked all that hard, like you worked hard for that one moment. And just knowing that you're piloting an airplane in the air, like by yourself, was a really good experience. So my experience in the flight program is somewhat different than the typical incoming ASU freshman due to my five years previous experience in the military as a flight mechanic on C-130s. The faculty at ASU is bar none the best that the industry has to offer. Most of our professors are uh, flight instructors themselves. They're retired military pilots and airline captains and they bring that real world industry experience to us. Good reason to pick ASU for your flight training and provider in your degree program is because they have pathway programs and bridge programs with airlines. What that is, they have letters of agreements with like SkyWest and Republic Airlines, American Eagle, and uh, they're looking for um, student pilots right now because uh, the baby boomers are retiring, so they're looking to fill their you know pilot line, so to speak, with uh, you know new graduates. Um, so my first flight ever at ASU, I was completely unprepared. Uh, I didn't have any. Thing I needed, I didn't even have like a headset, um, and my instructor was like, "All right, let's go, like hop in." And I was just like uncomfortable, and I didn't really know what to do, and it was just really weird for me, and I couldn't really see out the plane because I'm so small, and so it was kind of interesting. And then um, a couple months later, maybe three or four months later, I did my first solo flight at Phoenix Mesa Gateway, um, and. I did landings by myself. Um, I thought I was going to be scared and freaking out, and um, I actually felt really in control, and it was a really good feeling. Uh, as of right now, I am working on my private pilot's license. I know um, throughout my four years, I will get several different ratings, such as commercial. I don't know if I want to go to the military or the airlines, but I know. ASU will really help me out in just finding a place where I belong. So one of the main issues that we've noticed in the aviation community and the industry itself is that there's a lack of diversity overall, uh, whether it be with airlines or in just at the schools themselves. And I noticed that ASU has been trying to increase the population of diverse students from all male American, uh, Caucasian male, to female and other races as well. One of the main reasons why I chose ASU to go into their flight program, actually their aviation program as a whole, was because of how they're advancing with the aviation industry. Whether you're a pro flight student or an air traffic student or a management student, you can learn from all the different professors and their different backgrounds. Uh, as far as working with the aviation, the pro flight program itself, you have programs that work through like ATP um, or with the air traffic side, you have students working directly with the most modern simulators in the industry, I feel like that is going to benefit any student, whether you're a pro flight or, or management or air traffic. Um, as far as my future, I feel that I will always remember ASU as a place uh, where I can, you know, say I'm, I'm a proud alumni because they not only got my career started, you know, for now, their aviation program is going to keep evolving and producing more students into the industries that will that I will benefit from because I'll be working with those alongside. So I guess the last thing I have to say is, go Devils!